You are Vader's slave. But your power is wasted with him. You could be so much more. Shark T. To Starkiller even as a child, Galen Marek was already exceptionally powerful in the Force, with immense potential that would have allowed him to become one of the most powerful Force users of all time. His power proved great enough to impress Vader enough that he risked sparing him to mold him as an apprentice, believing that he had the potential to, alongside Vader and when at the height of his abilities, defeat Darth Sidious, who was considered the most powerful Dark Lord of the Sith in history. Even Sidious himself acknowledged that Marek's strength in the Force could rival his own. As a young adult, having been trained extensively to be a living weapon capable of helping Darth Vader in defeating Sidious, Marek became an immensely powerful and proficient Force adept, with his power being acknowledged by the Jedi he had faced and defeated and Vader believing him to be ready to aid him in executing Sidious. While his usage of the Force's combative nature, especially that of the Dark Side, was outstanding, his solely combative training rendered him unable to use less aggressive Force powers but after fully turning to the light, he had overcame this limitation as he finally became capable of voluntary farsight while he could not when he still submerged himself in the dark side despite frequent attempts. At the same time, he fully retained his exceptional skill in applying the force in battle, as shown by his ability to best his former master and even eventually Sidious himself in single combat. Although when he was using the light side, he seemingly could not defeat the Dark Lord, only match him. Once Marek got enraged by the revelation that it was Sidious who was his master, he was able to channel the dark side and gain enough power to make short work of the Emperor soon after, although it briefly overrode his self-control to the point he would have killed Sidious had Kota not stopped him. In his final stand, although it cost him his life, Marek ultimately managed to overpower the Emperor's full strength by drawing power from his concern for his allies and unleashed a burst of power that nearly killed both Sidious and Vader and heavily damaged the Death Star I. Marek's skills with telekinesis were considerable, and he often cleared entire hallways and rooms with powerful force pushes and repulses, and even caught TIE fighters in mid-flight. Even as a child, he was skilled enough that he managed to disarm Vader of his lightsaber without him even knowing, impressing the Dark Lord visibly. Proficient at telekinetic lightsaber combat, he would often direct his lightsaber to seek out specific enemies and impale them, often killing them instantly. He was even able to redirect fired missiles and ballistics. Through the use of telekinesis, he could, albeit with great effort, change the direction of a falling Imperial One-class Star Destroyer and force it to the ground. In addition, Marek was also able to use this ability for fine manipulation, such as by dismantling and reassembling his lightsaber during meditation sessions. Marek's telekinetic prophecy was even great enough that when angered, he was capable of telekinetically overtaking Sidious, easily blasting him off his feet with a powerful force wave and force pushing him against the ceiling of the dome before smashing him to the ground. As a trained Sith apprentice, Marek became extremely proficient in force lightning, with his skill rivaling even that of Darth Sidious. He could cast energy so powerful that it would kill an opponent with a single blast, and could target more than one opponent at a time. He was also able to channel lightning attacks through his lightsaber, thus amplifying blade attacks with dark side energy. He applied lightning in a more tactical manner, charging up or shorting out certain types of machinery. Furthermore, Marek could manipulate the technique to generate Sith Seekers, essentially a combination of Force Push and Force Lightning. Marek was also highly proficient in the defensive Force techniques, displaying great skill in the use of Force Deflection and Tutaminis. He was more than capable of aptly deflecting blaster bolts by imbuing his free hand with the Force whenever he could not rely on his lightsaber to protect him. The most prominent display of his outstanding skills in using the Force for defensive purposes was shown when he was even capable of absorbing the lightning of Dad Sidious, although not without immense effort, and redirecting the battle of the Sith Lord, causing Sidious to bear the same agonizing pain Marek was feeling, eventually unleashing the Nepenho Force energy in a devastating explosion that nearly claimed the lives of his enemies and destroyed much of the terrifying Death Star, another power that Marek learned for in his time a secret apprentice was Mind Trick the ability to control the minds of other individuals, especially weak-willed beings. Through this technique, Marek could compel subjects to do his bidding, ignore his presence, or simply lose consciousness. In battle, he would use this skill to confuse his enemies and spread disorganization and chaos. In addition to his considerable array of techniques, he possessed a version of the four-speed ability, which enabled him to dart quickly across short distances.